Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16, and welcome to Lost Wing. Okay, so I'm actually going to quickly have a look here because what it looks like we've got some today? new items. Okay, um, Traveler is banned. That's got a a big enough increase. I'm still not going to buy it. Actually, should I buy it? It's only 680 gil. I'm not I'm not even gonna buy it actually because um I do have other items equipped which I want to keep equipped. What is this? Um Okay. Uh, a tattered slip of parchment upon which has been hastily scroll scrawled uh, several bars of music to tie it okay. Right, so you can use that with the uh, um orchestrian. Okay, I do wonder if we're going to be able to increase the capacity fight. of our potions and all that. I don't really know at the moment. You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. Ah, well, you're very welcome. All right, so let's get on with the story then. We'll find out what's actually going on here. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Well, him. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only would trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Okay, really so works. we got a hanged man seal. Right, we have two people, one over there and one over this way. So let's go for this one, it's closer. And that's all you can remember. Oh, I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. Oh, don't mind me. Okay, so... We're going to talk to this guy up here, the woodcutter. Ah. Master Quinson took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, 
What can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so he has given us some bit of hope. Oh, that's only a fast travel point over there. Just trying to make sure there's no... There's no items or anything around here. It doesn't really look like anything, so let's just... Move on to the next one. Obviously, I haven't really paid much attention to whether or not there really are items around. Just a quick scan to see if some light flickers. Speaking of which, the chainmail in this game actually looks amazing. At least in the cutscenes, let me just see. Yeah, you can't really see the details of it outside here. You see a little, like, flicker of light, but that's about it. Okay, so we're going to talk to Freed Villager. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Alright, so, well, that's the two of them. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I can say something to you. Oh, I thought I could say something to you. It must have been your dots that I've seen. I'll tell you one thing for nothing. That girl with the hooded bloke weren't his missus. More like his pet blimmin' curl. Ready to pounce. Okay. I like that the, fa the fact that they use, um, like, beasts from the Final Fantasy games, like, as, like, you know, pets and stuff like that. It's really cool. Anyway, let's see what Sid has to say then. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? All right, so, uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna talk to uh, Quinton. Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night, and for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quinton. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, 
I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. The road south, then? Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your help with the Royalist Barricade earlier. We'll see you the rest. Okay, well, it wasn't really an option for us, so... Uh, you're... You're welcome, I guess. Uh, okay. So we're going to the road up north. And... I'm feeling like this is wrong, but... Okay, you can pause the video if you want to read that. I'm actually just going to see if I can... Uh, find... Alright. I'm going to I'm gonna go back the way because I'm hoping that's the way... Right way. What is this here? Oh, there's a. <sighs> and there is a church, but it looks like there's actually something to read here. Again, you can pause the video if you want to see that. I'll have a look at it. It's only adding a bit of lore. There's, there's no real need. But if you do want to see that, um. That like extra bit of detail that's in the game, just pause the video and all that, and you can see. Come back to me, my darling. Oh. I can't bear The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Care Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? Oh, believe it or not, I am. If the Royalists yeah, were looking to take the choice. care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. <sighs> All right, so. Wrong uh, way, friend. Uh, uh, no, 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 I don't want to get you. I'm trying to... That's uh, this. Okay. <laughs> Getting frustrated with you. Oh, boy. Level up. Beautiful. Okay. I'm actually curious about what the max level in this game is. I have no idea what it would be. I'm actually trying to remember what, what Final Fantasy thinking. 7's was. In Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The King is up to something. The King? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of His Majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute oh, it. over here. Uh, Valley Matter. No idea what that is, but fuck it, you. Stay down. It's over. I'll tell your lady you try. Jesus Christ, said that is so fucking dark. Then again, I guess we did just kill him. Which is actually a bit crazy in this game because 
You know, the yeah, way the, the enemies, they just like disappeared. Hard nuts to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. All right, shut up for a minute, Sid. Um, yeah, in the previous ones, they kind of just like disappeared or... Uh, what was it in Final Fantasy X? Was it the Fate? Just like took them away or whatever it was. I can't really remember. It's been a long time since I... I did play a bit of the remake. I have not played it. As much as I would like to, I actually really did enjoy Final Fantasy X and its it's for and all that sort of stuff. Really like, like, you know, trying to put a team together and trying to, you know, win tournaments and stuff like that was really cool. Uh, I don't think it beats Final Fantasy VIII's card game, though, to be honest. Uh, not sure when it compares to the Chocobo Racing. I enjoy battering down the front door. I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. This Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Okay, so guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's a little bit short, but um, this is a good stopping point. So thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.